Alright, so what I'm going to do here today is I'm going to make a 70s grindhouse film look. And how I got this idea was I was watching Film Riot and they did the same effect except they were using After Effects and using tons of plugins and everything. And I was thinking, hmm, let's see what I can do and create it in HitFilm. And what I figured out is I got close to the very same effect that they used that they got with After Effects and all their plugins. And so first, what we're going to do is, of course, we're going to need to put our uh, video we're editing in our video timeline right here. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to get the saturation tool. And we're going to take that saturation tool, put it over here in our effects, and then we're going to go to our master, and we're going to go to saturation, and let's put it at a negative 50 desaturation. As you can see here, this gives you, well, this is without it, and this is with it. It gives you some of the same colors, but they're not as bright and not as vivid, which is key in this effect. And next, what we're going to do is we're going to get the color temperature key. We're going to drag that over here. And then what I like to do is I like to start it off around 3900 because this will give you a base, you know, around what the, co the color temperature, the warmth that you want at the end of the video. Because you can mess around with it, make it warmer, make it lighter, just give yourself a feel of what you want whenever you get done with the effect, the warmth that you want. I like my warmth somewhere around here, maybe sometimes a little warmer in this effect. I like a really warm, rich video. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to brightness and contrast. I'm going to bump that down here. And we're not going to mess with the brightness at all. We're going to mess with the contrast. The contrast, I am just, instead of entering a value, I just eyeball it. I start and I don't want it way up here too much contrast but I don't want it way down here I want to put it maybe somewhere around 15 16 not that quite high and see you get much more out of your darks and much more out of your lights which gives you that eerie feel whenever you're watching the video um, with the next stuff that we're gonna add on here and next thing we're going to do is our film damage effect. This is a great effect offered by HitFilm. Um, we're just going to dump it down here. And what we're going to do here is, you can see all the grain in my video. I really don't like that. Some filmers love that, if, love it. And to me, it's not, I just don't like it in this effect. So I'm going to take that off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the shake off. What the shake does is if you get down here somewhere it'll move the video up and kind of the top up here is down here some people like it in some effects I'm not a big fan of it but yes I will use it sometimes if I'm like having an old TV or something but not really in this effect for the entire video so I'm just gonna take that shake off right there and then the defocus Let's put this frequency around a 1.5, not as strong as a 2.5, just a little less. Some people like the stronger defocus, some people don't. This is where I like it. Of course, all of this you can edit to your own preferences. I'm just doing it to mine and showing you how to get the film look. And if you watch it, you can just see it there, and I think it just adds a little bit more to the video. And so let's rewind it all the way back. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to add a flicker. The film damage has a flicker, but it's not that strong. It's not as strong as I would like it to be. So I'm going to go to flicker here. And I'm going to put it down here at the bottom. And mainly all I do to this is I bump up the brightness to around 1.35. Just to give it that much more from the light source or from the brights and then look at it and that is that is a pretty good effect and 
right now, after I add all of these um, effects in here, I'm going to go back to my color. And like I said before, I like a warm video, so I'm just going to warm that up a little bit more. And right there, that is the film look that I really, really love and enjoy. Um, whenever I'm going for this grindhouse film look. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to take off all of these effects and let you watch it. Normal video without any effects, kind of just playing off camera. And then once we add these effects here, I'm going to watch the video. It just gives it that eerie feel and it didn't take very long at all to make this effect and it's a great effect to use and like I said they used plugins that they had to buy and this is all built into HitFilm which is the reason I really love this software and that's it for this tutorial but if you want to check out the rest of the tutorial that I got this video here from it's our zombie prosthetic tutorial and it will it helps you learn how to make cuts and wounds such as right here and right here on the face for um, your actors I mean it can be small it can be big it can be anything and it's good for actors and videos as well as costumes and so I'll put I'll post a link to the video right here but it's a great tutorial, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I plan on making many more to come. So, thank you for watching.